Hey, what's up everyone? Pasay Baller here. We are now in this sixth game of this November 14, 2022 NBA game day. Uh, for me, this is also one of the best uh, games there is uh, for today, November 14. This will be Atlanta Hawks with the record of 8 wins and 5 losses, visiting Milwaukee Bucks, displaying a record of 10 wins and 2. The game, by the way, will start at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread given is minus 4, and that's actually given towards the home team, Milwaukee Bucks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, um, the standings or the rankings of uh, these two teams. Both teams belong to the Eastern Conference, Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, they are ranked number 1 um, in the Eastern Conference. Matter of fact, they are ranked number 1 overall in the NBA with the record of 10 wins and 2. Atlanta Hawks, they are ranked number 3 in the East with the record of 8 wins and 5 losses. Alright, here we go. Let's talk about this Milwaukee Bucks. They would have the home court advantage of this particular matchup. In terms of fatigue, well, seems like both teams actually had their rest last night. So, there you go. So, we can just skip that part because, again, both teams had their respective rest last night. In terms of momentum, um, uh, Milwaukee is actually coming off that loss while uh, Atlanta Hawks they're also coming off that loss so uh, we could just skip that part as well I mean um, really uh, both teams are not coming off any kind of success or any kind of wins approaching this game so maybe let's go ahead and just take a look at the injury list or the availability of the players for both teams for Atlanta Hawks they only have one player out that's Bogdan Bogdanovich. Well, for Milwaukee Bucks, I see a lot of players out. You know, a lot of players out. Um, Ingles, Drew Holiday, uh, they are actually confirmed out. But uh, the good thing for Milwaukee Bucks is that um, Yanis, along with uh, who's this, uh, uh, Grayson Allen, are expected to be back on the lineup of this particular matchup. So, not sure with. Uh, not sure with Middleton and Connaughton though, because they're listed as um, game time decision or questionable. But I've read uh, some articles and they're saying that for Yanis and Grayson Allen, they're expected to be back. All right, so I'm, I know what you guys are thinking. You know, these two teams have actually met uh, once earlier this season, and it was actually Atlanta Hawks uh, who won that game by 10 points. It was actually Atlanta Hawks who gave Milwaukee Bucks their very first loss of the season. Um, and it, interestingly, they didn't even have Trey Young in that game. So um, a lot of players or a lot of people are actually expecting Atlanta Hawks to do a repeat on this. And I can't blame them, you know, and they have a very good point, you know. <laughs> if they did that without Trey Young, what more? Right now, that Trey Young is there, Trey Young is available, um, and Trey Young is healthy. Um, but I feel otherwise, you know. Uh, just like what I, just like what I, what I was saying before. Normally, if this is the case, uh, most of the times I actually pick um, the the, um, the the losing team of the previous matchup to win the next game, especially if it's Milwaukee Bucks, especially if Bucks will be at home, especially if Giannis and Grayson Allen will be back. Not sure about Middleton, but there's a chance that Middleton will be back. I'm not sure. But for me, so long as Giannis and uh, Grayson Allen will be back, um, that's enough for me to actually uh, side with Milwaukee Bucks. I know it's not going to be easy. Um, Atlanta Hawk is one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. But um, knowing Milwaukee Bucks, you know, they love to do some, some sort of revenge, uh, revenge games. If you would take a look at their records, normally if they lose... Uh, if they lose against a certain team, the next you know the next time they will meet, they would actually have their uh, number. So I'm actually siding with Milwaukee Bucks on this with the minus four on it. Even even with the minus four, and even if Trey Young is actually playing, and even if a lot of players are actually out for Milwaukee Bucks, I feel like you know um, it will be close, and maybe Atlanta Hawks may have the lead. But towards the end of the game and towards the end of the matchup, it will be Milwaukee Bucks who would actually win the game and cover the spread. Milwaukee Bucks at the end of the day would have the advantage in terms of the in terms of the size, and I think um, 
even though Atlanta Hawks is one of the you know one of the best teams uh, there is to defend the three point line, um, Milwaukee Bucks would have some sort uh, some sort uh, some clutch uh, outside shooting towards the end of the game. So my pick would be Milwaukee Bucks minus four. Again, that's Bucks minus four. Peace out, pass it love, and God bless.